ever thought some industries were pure gold for investment? Think again. From glittering movies to bustling boutiques, here's a deep dive into seven sectors that might just surprise you. Events. Consider the glitz and glamour of event businesses. Hosting grand events might sound like a dream venture, but behind those dazzling curtains lie some harsh truths. Events are often seen as one-off businesses. People pay once, attend, and it's over. Unlike recurring businesses where customers return regularly, events often rely on one-time transactions. This model means you're always chasing the next big event without the comfort of steady income. And competition? Fierce. With so many people jumping on the event bandwagon, standing out becomes a Herculean task. Now, imagine the overheads, renting locations, hiring equipment, and in many cases, utilizing them for just one day. It's like buying a new outfit for every party and then never wearing it again. There's also the challenge of not owning the venue. Imagine pouring money into decorations and installations at a rented venue, only to tear them down once the event concludes. However, there's a twist to this tale. Some event businesses thrive, especially those that own their venues. Owning the site means reusing infrastructure and amenities for multiple events, squeezing more value from initial investments. For instance, if one has an animal adventure park, they can host various events, leveraging the same infrastructure repeatedly. So while events can be a glamorous business, it's vital to peel back the layers and consider the underlying challenges. Not all that glitters is gold. Retail. Dreamt of owning a store or a hotel? Picture a busy retail store. The shopping world is shifting towards showrooms and unique experiences. Traditional stores, where buying and selling are the main game, are getting harder to run. Why? High rents, staff costs, and unexpected sales dips, not to mention big online shops making things tougher. Now imagine a swanky hotel. Sounds fancy, right? But there's more than meets the eye. Setting up a hotel costs a lot, like setting up a big garden before seeing any flowers. Hotels see guests coming and going, which means money isn't always steady. Managing a big team is tough, especially when many staff members often switch jobs. And with sites like Airbnb and Booking.com and Play, they control a lot of info about guests, which complicates things. Plus, there's the constant need to update rooms to keep up with rivals. Sure, UK hotels have some tax perks and ways to make extra money, but making a real profit needs a fresh approach. These businesses sound cool, but they come with big challenges. So if you're thinking of jumping in, be sure to look before you leave. Initial public offering. Ever thought about jumping on the IPO bandwagon? While the glitz and glamour of a company going public might seem enticing, the waters here are murkier than they appear. First off, accessing IPOs isn't a cakewalk for the average Joe or Jane. Often, top-tier clients are the first in line, leaving retail investors scouting for crumbs. Imagine being at a grand buffet, where the choicest dishes are reserved for VIPs and their regular guests get the leftovers. That's the world of IPOs for you. The most promising ones, priced just right for a solid run-up, are handed over to privileged clients, making it challenging for smaller investors to get a piece of that lucrative pie. Moreover, IPOs are akin to uncharted territories, Unlike established stocks, which have been in the market for years and boast a rich history of ups and downs, IPOs are the newbies. They lack a history, making them unpredictable. Without past performance data to guide decisions, it's a bit like driving at night with no headlights. To add another layer of complexity, the price of an IPO isn't always rooted in the company's actual value. So while the allure of being part of a company's big debut might be tempting, it's essential to tread with caution. Bitcoin. The name alone might send some into a frenzy of excitement, while others might recall stories of great losses. Often dubbed the Wild West of the financial world, Bitcoin is the poster child for volatility. Just to paint a picture, in a span of months, Bitcoin's value danced from being just under $253 in late February, plummeted to $177.28 by January 15th soared to $665.73 by June 3rd, only to swing back to $511 by August 20th. It's like an unpredictable roller coaster ride, and not everyone's stomach or wallet can handle those drops and climbs. A quick search online and one might come across cautionary tales with headlines such as, How I Lost Half My Retirement Investment in Bitcoin, or Bitcoin is the worst investment of 2014. Such stories are a testament to the unpredictability that comes with this cryptocurrency. And while Bitcoin has seen some spectacular highs, making overnight millionaires, it has its fair share of crashes leading to instant ruins. It's not just about its unstable price either. Cryptocurrencies in general 
operate in a largely unregulated space, often making them prone to issues like hacking attacks on exchanges and potential regulatory crackdowns. So while the allure of digital gold can be tempting, it's essential to remember that with high reward often comes high risk. Boutique Closed Shops Boutique closed shops may sound appealing to many. The allure of owning a trendy little store can be captivating. However, the reality is often a different tale. For those dreaming big, these small ventures might only offer petite results. The retail world is a battlefield. Even industry giants sometimes find it tough to stay afloat, and the idea of a small boutique outshining them is often more dream than reality. High streets, once bustling hubs of shopping, are now witnessing dwindling footfalls. For any store to thrive, it has to be strategically located in a high traffic area. But it's not just about footfalls. It's also about managing those overhead costs, which seem to be ever on the rise. The next hurdle, inventory. Deciding what stock to hold, especially for newcomers, can be like navigating a maze without a map. Getting stuck with a pile of unsold clothes means tying up capital. Picture this, shelves full of garments, but an empty cash register. Not an ideal situation. However, if someone's heart is set on the boutique dream, they might consider finding a niche. There's an old saying, there are riches and niches. Catering to specific segments, like clothing for taller individuals, might offer a glimmer of hope. But even then, ensuring the brand's visibility is crucial. Think of the boutique as a showcase, drawing inspiration from car brands that display their models in malls. They showcase, but don't necessarily sell at the spa. Movies. The movie world might look all shiny and exciting, but investing in it is a whole other story. Imagine putting your money into what you think will be the next big hit. You're picturing the fame, the action, and of course, the cash. But here's the twist. You'll probably be the last one getting paid. According to the Wall Street Journal, almost everyone gets their share before movie investors. This means actors, crew, even the folks serving snacks on set get paid before you do. So by the time it's your turn, the leftover money might not be as much as you hoped for. Movies can be unpredictable, costs can skyrocket, turning your budget upside down. Once it's made, the film might struggle to find its way to theaters. And even if it does, there's no saying if people will actually watch it. Some movies, despite all the hype, just don't click with audiences. Sure, some films strike gold and investors see big returns, but that's rare. Big studios can handle the ups and downs, but for regular folks thinking of investing, movies can be a risky gamble. Behind the glamour, the film industry is more complicated than it looks. Restaurants Restaurants are like the wild west of investments, full of risks and unexpected challenges. Why do so many fail? For starters, banks often shy away from lending money to them due to their shaky reputation. That's a red flag for anyone dreaming of opening a trendy cafe or bistro. Revenue is another tricky part. Think about it. Even if a restaurant makes big bucks, they're usually paying a large team so the money gets stretched thin. They might be packed on weekends, but come Tuesday, they're as quiet as a library. Instead of these wild ups and downs, businesses thrive on steady money flow. Let's talk about the money up front. Setting up a restaurant isn't cheap, and even when things get going, there are loans to pay back, making the dream of big profits feel distant. Plus, with new eateries popping up everywhere, keeping customers loyal is like herding cats. Everyone's tempted to try the latest hotspot. Lastly, the overheads, taxes, insurance, and other fees can eat into profits fast. Sure, there are some legendary restaurants that have stood the test of time, but they're the exception. For most, the restaurant game is more about survival than raking in cash. Navigated these treacherous waters before or considered dipping your toes in? Which industry intrigues or scares you the most? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. For more similar updates, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. Bye-bye.